Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to do a problem on CPI, effective CPI, and the MAPES weight and the execution time, and as well as about one uh, Amdahl's uh, problem like that. Okay, so the theory we are going to do as well. Okay, Amdahl's law. Sorry, it's an Amdahl's law. Okay, so let me read the question now. So a benchmark program is run on a 20 megahertz processor okay the executed program consists of 200000 instruction executions okay with following instruction mix and clock cycle count so here a table is given so it is a table okay so in instruction type instruction count and cycle per instruction is given okay so what we have to do we have to determine effective cpa and we have to calculate the MIPS rate and also uh, we have to find the execution time as well and then what we have to do for calculating FPA operations and additional FPA unit which is 30 times faster than other units is connected to speed up the computer performance what percentage of time must this unit be active to achieve an overall increase in computer speed for 4 times okay so we are going to discuss about third one by explaining one Amdal's law but before that let me do these two first okay so first what we have to do determine the effective CPA okay first what we have to do we have to find effective CPA right okay we have to find effective CPA so for that what are the given things here a processor frequency is given right the frequency of the processor and the total strike, uh, the total instruction count is also given. Okay, what are given terms? Given. We have one first one. We have to calculate effective CPU and MIPS rate, right? Yeah. So what are the given? Processor frequency. Processor frequency that is. and total total instruction count that is 200,000 okay done so according to the table first what we have to find we have to find effective CPA right effective CPA so what is the formula for effective CPA is the the product of instruction count and cycles per instruction okay what i told the what is the formula for uh, this one uh, i mean effective cpa the product of instruction count and the cycles per instruction cpa okay instruction count ic into cycle per instructions cpa and by total instruction count okay instruction count into cycles per instruction by total instruction count we have to add all these okay sigma of okay so adding that what we what are the values there see this table what we have to do 45,000 into 2 plus 32,000 into 4 plus 15,000 into 2 plus 8,000 into 5 okay so 45 plus 32,000 4 plus 15,000 2 plus into 5 by total total instruction count what is the total instruction count 200,000 so after multiplying and adding all these things we will get 28,288,000 by 1000 so this is 1.44 okay so effective cpa of the given question is 1.44 now what we have to kind we have to find the mips rate right so mips is nothing but million instruction per second what is mips 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 is million instruction per second what is the formula mips is equal to clock rate by cpa into effective cpi into 10 power 6 clock rate what is the clock rate that is nothing but 
process frequency that is 20 mega hz mega means 10 power 6 20 to 10 power 6 by 1.44 into 10 power 6 so 20 by 1.44 is nothing but 13.89 mips so per second there are 13.89 million instructions okay done now second one what is b we have to find the execution time so what is the formula for execution time execution time is equal to total clock cycles by clock rate that is nothing but total clock cycles is nothing but these are the total one okay the cpa we are adding right these are the total one what we got 288000 right 288000 by what is the clock rate clock rate is nothing but process frequency right 20 into 10 power 6 okay done now what after doing this we will get 0 0.0144 seconds in milliseconds if you convert 14.4 ms what is the execution time 14.4 milliseconds per second 13.89 million instructions and uh, uh, while finding the execution time for one instruction it is 14.4 uh, milliseconds okay done now what we have to find we have to find the uh, speed okay see for calculate see you have to understand the question correctly for calculating fp operation okay an additional fp unit which is 30 times faster than other units okay what is the speed of fp now it is 30 times faster than the previous time previous time floating point is 15000 instruction and uh, cycles per instruction is 2 but now what it is faster than the, the floating point unit is 30 times faster okay then and is connected to the speed of the computer performance okay now what percentage of time what percentage of time we need to find the percent of time must this unit be active to achieve an overall increase of speed for four times okay so the total speed of the the total speed is uh, I mean, of the processor is four times will the four times will be increased okay the The speed of the processor will be increased from now uh, the present condition to do another condition which is four times faster. Okay, and the FP is the speed of the FP is 30 times faster. But what we need to find what is the percentage? Okay, what is the percentage of time must this unit should be active? Okay, we need to find the percentage of the time. So what is the given here? If this if you write C. Okay, if you write C, uh, given the floating point is 30 times faster. Okay, and we want what we want total speed of this processor is increased to 4x times faster CPU. And what we need to want was we are having the floating point operations account. The floating point we have right already we have instruction count or the instruction count fp floating point operation account for 15k instructions out of 200,000 so total instruction count is 200,000 and in that 15,000 is the fp operation right okay these are the things we have given so what is amdal's uh, i mean amdal's law let me let me let this in this place there is a formula total overall speed of the cpu okay overall speed of the cpu is equal to 1 by 1 minus f plus f by s okay what is the speed of the um, in total CPU? The speed of the total CPU is equal to 1 by 1 minus F plus F by S. So now what is F and what is S? So F is equal to 
the fraction of time spent on the specific part spent on the part the specific part okay and this is nothing but speed of that part speed up of improved part here what is the speed of improved part the fp is increasing and it is 30 times faster right so s is equal 30 and the overall speed is nothing but speed up overall what is the overall speed 4 times faster right yeah so 4 is equal to 1 by we don't know the f right 1 by f plus f by 30 now this side this side f by 30 plus 1 minus f is equal to 1 by 4 okay now if we calculate this so now f minus f by 30 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 30 f minus f 29 f by 30 is equal to 4 minus 1 3 by 4 so 29 f is equal to 90 by 4 ok so that means f is equal to 29 to 4 is nothing but 116 90 by 116 that is similarly equal to 0 0.7759 approximately so what we need to find but uh, it is the fraction part what we need to do we should have to convert it into percentage so simply we have to uh, multiply it with 100 so fp unit must be active for nearly 77.6 percentage of execution time which means like see I will tell you in a simple way again see here what is the total time in 14.4 the total time of execution the total time is the total execution time is 14.4 milliseconds so in that time the 77 percentage of time right uh, till that time FP will only be running in that particular program okay that's the point so thank you guys for watching my video if you have any doubts uh, you can comment me in the comment section